In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the last of a certain value with VBA in Excel. So this is um, a normal sheet that I, I have done before where you scan in and scan out and then you have durations. Now, when you scan in the, with another, the same number additional times, it was either it hit and miss on whether it was going to give you an out time this, the third time. So we've got 222 in here twice. So let's do 222 again, and we should get a new one, which is, which gives you the time. Now, um, because it's looking for one with a blank, um, a blank cell here for out, if it finds one of the other one, it's going to give me a new blank list. So let's put 222 in again. And there you go. There it, it's figured out which is the blank, which is the one that has the blank cell in it. And that is because I'm searching this list and I'm searching for the last one in the list. So let me show you the code and I'll explain how it works. This is, uh, I, I've showed you this code many times. The difference now is I have, instead of row number, I have first row. So I have both of these as long. Now, the first, um, what we're doing is um, we take the barcode and we search in the A column. And so if, uh, is not, if it doesn't find anything, then it just basically puts in the barcode and then puts in the time and the time in this format. Now, if it does find it, then the first time it finds it, we're going to call it the first row equals range row. So the first time it finds it, we're going to call it the first row. Now, to determine the row number, what we're going to do is sheet one range AA. So we're going, going in this uh, column here. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the barcode. Now, after active sheet cells, first row, remember we've named our first row is the first time it's find it. One is the column. And then this is a continuation. Search direction is previous. So it's going from the bottom row. Now, now how that works is that if it find when it finds it, if it's not empty, um, if active active cell row number row number is what you just determined three is the out time. If that's not empty, and go to restart, which is right at the beginning, and you go through the same code again. And then if um, if it is empty, then you uh, you continue by putting the out time in here, and then you calculate the difference of the time so you get the time interval on your sheet. So that's um, a quick fix for something that's uh, caused some difficulty with people. So please subscribe.